We are made up of stardust. Our very physical nature is comprised of the same materials that are swirling around in the cosmic universe. Can you believe this magic, this innate, swirling, powerful energy that you are created from the universe itself? Have you ever looked up into the sky and wondered for hours and hours, days and days about the mysteries of our world? Have you ever questioned where you come from, searched on an endless quest for meaning in this life? Well, it's no happy accident, only a synchro destiny, as Deepak Chopra likes to call it, that you have found this meditation because I have manifested it so. I have called in all star seeds that are meant to hear this meditation for their healing to find this exact track at the right point in time for your mind, your heart, your body, and your soul to remember what you are made of. Get ready for a journey that we are going to go on together. Perhaps you wish to lie down, dim the lights, Maybe cover your eyes with an eye pillow or a soft towel. Maybe your preference is to sit upright in a chair or relax on your couch. Create a space that is comfortable, quiet, and nourishing for this healing quantum meditation that is going to activate a deeper part of your remembering and healing capacity. As you settle in, I'll share a bit about star seeds Star seeds is a term that was first coined by Timothy Leary in the 1970s, a term that he used to describe microscopic life that was found on an extraterrestrial object that landed on Earth. In today's terms in the spiritual world, the term star seed refers to someone who feels that they have incarnated on other planets and celestial bodies other than Earth. If you have struggled in your lifetime to feel like you have belonged anywhere, if you question things, if you think way outside of the box, and if you are drawn to the hidden mysteries of your soul, consider that you are a starseed. In this meditation today, we will be deeply anchoring our souls into this body so that you can remember your innate power, your free will, and all of the choices your soul has made in unison with your spirit circle before you incarnated here. Let's take a nice deep breath in together. Fill your lungs, your belly, the sides and the back of your body up with gentle loving breath. And open your mouth, exhale. Settle into your seat, just starting to get a bit more comfortable in this physical body. If there are any last minute itches and scratches to get out, go for it. Give a little bit of a wiggle, maybe a little bit of a stretch so that you can land into your beautiful body here on earth. We're going to do a rotation of consciousness through the body. And all you have to do is shift your awareness from body part to body part. Perhaps each part of the body is represented like an image or a feeling, a sensation in your body. However your imagination works is perfect. You can soften your eyes and if you feel comfortable to do so, close them now if you're not already. Bring your awareness to your mouth and just feel the aliveness, the vibration, the energy in the mouth. Notice the nose and a soft and natural breath flowing in through the nostrils. Notice the surface of your eyes, these radiant embers of life that glow with your unique signature. Feel your eyes. Notice the whole head and face. Bring your awareness to your throat center, this powerhouse of activating your voice. Feel the physical body part of the throat and the neck. Awareness to the heart space, just witnessing the space that's already there, that 
gentle rise and fall of the breath that allows the heart to take up space and then soften. Notice the shoulders and the backs of your shoulder blades supported on Mother Earth. Feel the shoulders softening now, becoming heavier and heavier into the earth. Awareness to your arms, your wrists, and feel your hands. These radiant hands, feel your hands from the inside out. I wonder if you can feel the aliveness that is pulsing through the palms. Notice the arms and the hands all the way back up to your shoulders. Witness the heart space once again. Awareness to your solar plexus, the center of your body just below your ribs. This powerhouse of free will, of unbounded energy and power. Feel the aliveness of your gut, your belly, your solar plexus chakra. Move the awareness down now to your sacral area just below your belly button our center for intimacy and unbounded creativity. Feel the aliveness in the sacral area, your reproductive area, your sexual center. Notice and witness the pelvic floor, the space just between your sitting bones. Feel this energy center of survival, safety, and part of the center that connects to feeling at home. Feel the physicalness of your pelvic floor, of your root chakra, and notice the energy there. Feel both thighs, your knees, lower legs, ankles, and notice the feet. Reflect for a moment and feel both legs together. It's okay if not every body part is easily felt. Just allowing yourself to go with the flow of feeling these different body parts. Moving your awareness now from both legs and feet to feel the pelvis once again, your pelvic floor. Witness and feel the lower back, your sacrum, the base of your tailbone. Shift your awareness up through the spine, feeling the mid back, the shoulder blades resting on Pachamama. Feel the space between your shoulder blades, your thoracic spine. Feel the back of your neck. And bring awareness to the back of your head where it meets the earth, or perhaps where it floats in space if you are seated. Witness the top of your head, your crown chakra, See if you can tap into the energy that exists just above your head. I wonder if you can tap into the energy that rests about one foot above your head. Feel the whole body now. The whole body. The whole body. Allow yourself to feel whatever sensations the body is witnessing for you, allowing you to witness. Trust, breathe, surrender. You are so held through this soul journey. 
we are embarking on a journey now into the time where we first decided to incarnate on this physical plane in earth school i will count down from 10 to 1 and we are going to go on a journey from the mind into the heart and then up into the cosmos bring your awareness to your heart space where many great sages and wisdom keepers say the soul resides. As I count down from 10 to one, you are gonna journey deep into the heart, into a space that may be like an inner sanctuary for you. Trust that whatever you see is an inner working of your mind and your heart and your soul, and everything is as it should be. We will travel into the place of the heart into this safe, nourishing, and comforting space that is of your own design. 10, feeling yourself sinking, traveling down nine into the heart space. Feel the heart space, eight, with its natural space, seven, breathing as if the heart could breathe, going down, down, six, into the heart space. Feel yourself, five, surrendering into this pull of your heart, this loving, loving pull downwards, four. Experience yourself stepping now up to a gateway, three. You feel yourself opening up this gateway and stepping into a portal, two. As you step through this portal, you are greeted by an ancestral grandmother energy, one. This grandmother opens the door into the portal and allows you to step into the cavern of your heart, zero. What do you notice in this space of your heart? Tap into the safety and the warmth do you notice any colors or objects? What does this inner sanctuary look like here in your heart space? Please know that at any time you can return to your heart sanctuary, into this loving presence of this grandmother spirit, this loving auntie who is here to support you through this journey. Maybe this grandmother energy is a real ancestor. Maybe she's an archetype of a loving, fiercely devoted and unconditional grandmother energy that always is watching out for you. She holds your hand and she's smiling at you. She is so excited that she is ushering you into this next phase of our soul journey. She may take the form of a human, she may be an animal, or just a simple knowing of a presence that's with you, but feel her with you now. Breathe, breathe. In this moment of deep trust and unconditional love, you know that you are ready to journey out of your inner sanctuary of the heart and up into the cosmos up to this place where you decided who you would be in this life form. I once again will count down from 10 to zero and we are going to travel up and up and up through a spiral portal that is going to take you to meet your spirit circle. The ambivalent and unconditionally loving spirits that are on your team who have been guiding you since the moment of your incarnation here on earth and long, long before. 10, you begin to feel this lightness begin to take over the body. Nine, you feel this upward pull of energy as your soul and your spirit begins to lift. Eight, this loving grandmother spirit is still next to you, still holding you. Seven, she takes you up and up and up. Six, spiraling and spiraling, 
gently, gently up and up. Five, you feel so held and trusting in this upward motion. Four, feel yourself rising. Three, up and up to meet your spirit circle. Two, up and up, breathe. And one, you witness a warm light, the most beautiful light you could ever imagine. Zero, you have arrived. In this space of light and warmth, look around you. What does the space look like, feel like, as the loving grandmother essence is still by your side? The love is amplified a thousand times over because as you look around, you see your spirit circle. Witness these beings. Perhaps they are in a physical form. Perhaps they take the form of an animal. Perhaps it's an energy. Your spirit circle, your spirit guides can take the shape of anything that you are ready to see now. Use your imagination. Again, perhaps it's visual or just a deep inner knowing to feel their presence and their unconditional love. They are overjoyed that you are here with them today. So excited that you have chosen to seek out their counsel. After all, that's what they're here for. Dedicating their life and their love and their servitude as spirit to you and your growth. Trusting that you are so held and loved in this moment, you ease into their embrace, allowing yourself to be supported. They wish to open space for you to ask questions. The first question that you ask is why have I chosen Earth? They smile at you reminding you that one of the greatest gifts your soul has is free will. And your higher self knew that Earth was going to teach you some really valuable lessons for your soul's growth and evolution. You rest here for a moment and receive the guidance of why you've chosen to incarnate on Earth this cycle. Knowing that you chose your birth time, your birth date, and your geographical location of where you were born. You inquire now, why did you choose the city, the town, the state, and the country that you live in? Trusting that even if you don't have all the answers just yet, the soul remembers. On a quest to explore your family's lineage, they remind you that you've also chosen your parents, your mother and your father. Wanting to explore your mother's lineage, you ask your higher self and your spirit circle, why did I choose my mother? Curious about your father's side now, you rest and receive the answers 
of why you've selected your father and his lineage. You feel this overwhelming and divinely sweet knowing that this information is not only healing your soul and your soul's growth, but your lineage to follow. Because when we heal and understand our origins and our ancestry, it not only heals us, but seven generations after us. As you rest here, you also are wondering what the meaning is of this life for you here. Your guides and your higher self step in and you sit here to receive their oracles and their wisdom that they are so excited to share with you on why you are here in this lifetime. Ultimately, you know it is because your soul has chosen it to be. If you have a question for your spirit guides, your ascended masters or the angels of the cosmos, this is a perfect place to ask what your heart is curious about. If there isn't a question present in your heart, simply bask for these next few moments in their unconditional love for you. In this moment, you rest in gratitude for this support, for this clarity, and for this love that you are receiving from them. This feeling of trust and divine willpower that your soul has chosen this incarnation, has chosen your karmic path, has chosen the lessons, the people, and the experiences that you have already encountered in your life and more surprise mysteries and joy awaits you in the future. With this trust and with the loving support of this grandmother or auntie spirit beside you, you trust and know that it is time to return back down, back down to the cavern of your heart, to your inner sanctuary, I will count down once again from 10 to zero, and we will travel down, down, down into the heart. You say your goodbyes, but know that your spirit circle is only a prayer away, a meditation away, a thought away. With gratitude, they send you off, and you begin your descent 10, down, spiraling down, Gently and softly, nine, eight, seven, being held by this grandmother spirit, six, supported in your journey down, five, 
making your way towards the body, towards the heart space, four, spiraling with the cosmos and space, three, moving down, two, breathe, 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 one, feeling yourself becoming more anchored into the heart space, one, into the cavern of your heart, zero, you find yourself in your inner sanctuary, Feel yourself becoming more rooted now into your inner sanctuary. Trusting that these benevolent beings are still here with you, loving you, and helping the integration of your mind, of your soul, and of your body, anchoring it into your heart space. Your spirit circle has one more initiation for you, helping yourself integrate into this physical body that you have chosen to incarnate yourself in. Because yes, you've chosen your body as well, all the way down to your facial structure, your height, all of these external qualities like race or internal identities like ethnicity and culture, you have chosen that too. From your inner sanctuary, you get up and go for a walk. And you find yourself in a meadow, an ancient meadow. In this meadow, you witness a big ancient tree with an opening that is large enough for you to walk in. You walk through this portal, and again, you are greeted by this grandmother spirit. This time, she is incarnated as the tree itself. She whispers to you with love to travel down her spiral staircase that is within this ancient tree. And so again, you move down and down into the ancient crust of the earth. Pachamama, this goddess energy, is pulling you down. And once again, I'll count from 10 to zero, and you'll find yourself anchored into the center of the earth. 10, making your way down through the spiral staircase. Nine, gently stepping down. Eight, feeling the body move. Seven, down, down, down. Six, breathe. Five, four, moving downwards into the crust of the earth. Three, through this ancient tree. Two, feeling this love of the grandmother spirit. One, opening through a portal now into the center of the earth. Zero, you are in the middle of earth. Mother Earth is now working her magic to anchor and tether you to this plane with just the perfect amount of buoyancy and connection to the cosmos. You are ready to plant your soul here. This Pachamama goddess energy, this loving and nurturing Mother Earth energy, she holds you, feeling yourself floating in a way as if you were in the womb of the Great Mother. This great void of darkness, as if the darkness on the night of a new moon. You trust and feel that you are surrendered in her love and that you have chosen for her to be your guiding goddess in this incarnation, the goddess of Mother Earth, the Great Mother. She tethers you to this planet with your consent because you are ready to anchor and plant your soul here. She holds you and you surrender to her love, trusting that you have chosen to be here, a daughter of her, a daughter of the great mother, a daughter of mother earth, a son of mother earth, a non-binary being of mother earth. You in this incarnation are the perfect reflection of her 
and her love. In this void of her womb, this womb of the center of the earth, you know that great possibilities lie ahead of you. You know that because you had the power to incarnate here on Mother Earth, that you have the power to create your own world as well. Feel now this cord of light or of energy from the soles of your feet that string down and connect you and root you to Mother Earth. This channel of energy travels up through your feet, through the center of your body, through the legs, the pelvic floor, up through your torso, all the way up the central channel of your body, spiraling up and up through the crown of your head, all the way up and up into the cosmos, connecting you still to your spirit circle, the angels and the cosmos because you were made of the stars and Mother Earth knows that. She loves every aspect of you. Feel this connection between your feet, between the womb of Mother Earth, all the way up through your beautiful body and up into the heavens, connected on both ends equally, loved within every facet of who you are. If you have any questions for the Great Mother, our Great Mother of Mother Earth, she wants to hold space for you to ask. You offer a bow of gratitude to the Great Mother and thank her for her wisdom and trust that you will always be connected to her and her love. You witness now that it is time to return into your physical body. And so we will count once again from zero to 10, this time rising up and up out of the earth out of the Great Mother's womb and into the body. You begin to say your goodbyes, zero, but know that the Great Mother is always here with a prayer. One, you begin to climb, feeling your footing once again, no longer floating, but taking steps. Two, up the spiral staircase, up and up. Three, beginning to feel each step of her labyrinth walls, four, climbing up and up, five, spiraling gently, six, through the belly of this ancient tree, seven, feeling yourself return more and more, eight, to the cavern of your heart, nine, feeling yourself return higher and higher, 10, arriving in the inner sanctuary of your heart. feeling this reservoir of peace that exists within you and around you because you are peace itself. Taking one final heartfelt breath in your inner sanctuary in and out. Traveling once more up and up out of this heart space and into the body. Counting now from one to five, you will begin to feel your body physically here more and more. 
one. Notice the physical body resting on wherever you are resting on. Two, notice the fingers and the toes, maybe some gentle movement there. Three, deepening the breath within the body, every cell taking in more oxygen. Four, feeling yourself return to your physical body. Five, back in the room that you are in, in this physical plane. Begin to integrate yourself back into this physical plane here. Awakening the body in whatever way feels natural for you, whether that's movement or deeper breaths. If you wish to rest here for a bit more time, feel free to meditate a bit further on this feeling of peace, on this feeling of divine connection between the great mother and her womb, between mother earth, and with you and your spirit guides, your higher self, and the angels of the cosmos. You are so loved, star child, and it is my wish that you keep shining like the stars that birthed you. You have healed on a quantum cellular level, on a soul level today. It is so. I thank you for your trust. I thank you for taking this journey with me. My name is Carlina La Curandera, and it has been an honor to share space with you, my friend. Many blessings. Keep shining.